Okay, so the meeting is now being recorded and by continuing to be in this in this meeting, you're consenting to be recorded. So welcome, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Lanesh Dawe, and this is the very first uh, webinar for Data 460, Section 6980. Um, so welcome you all and a very, very exciting course. So let's kick this off. And um, I know there's uh, an, uh, you know, this this page here, as soon as my screen starts working, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to skip this uh, adequate spot as we have a small crowd here. Um, most so uh, we really don't have to go through the adequates. The only thing I would mention here, this being a very first webinar, I don't intend to go this very long. This is going to be a shorter one of shortest probably of all the uh, five webinars in total that we would have as part of this course. I hope not to go beyond an hour, 15 minutes, an hour and a half max for any of our webinars, but just kind of laying the ground for and setting the ground for what what's to, uh, what would come here, uh, what would happen during this webinar. So it would be mostly an hour, hour and a half uh, max. Uh, as I said, I will cut off at an at, at hour and a half any point in time, okay? So with that, um, I kind of have set my introduction already. I'm Linesh Dave again, um, and there's a YouTube video that I posted in the classroom, and um, you know it's, it's also up here as as part of this deck that is going to go out uh, to you. Um, so please feel free to um, view it if you have not. Um, but some of you here, are, you know, very very familiar names. Uh, we've been part of either Data Two Twenty and or data 445 in the past. So, you know, good to see uh, some of the names again and I look forward to working with, uh, you know, you many of you and including you, Chase, as well. Um, this class, I would say, very lucky again. Um, you just don't have one TA, but two TAs for this class and two very, very experienced uh, folks here, um, AO and NTO are going to be the TAs for this class. And they will be responding to your you know, tickets created in the UMGC Salesforce system, which I would kind of show you a snapshot of the UMGC ticket on how you want to fill it out so that it could go to AO and, and to TAO as well. And, and, uh, you know, and, and just uh, some, some additional instructions there. Um, but before I, I move, uh, move further here, um, AO and TAO, do you want to kind of quickly introduce yourselves? Ayo, do you want to go first? Yeah, sorry, I was trying to meet myself. No problem. Good evening, no problem. class. Uh, my name is Ayo Akinwale. I'll be one of your TAs. Just feel free to ask us any question, especially the technical ones. Whatever you don't uh, understand, let us know. We can work with you. Welcome on board. Thank you. Thank you. Tayo? Yes, I am Temi Tayo Joseph fondly called Tayo. I am one of the TAs. Uh, feel free to contact us for challenges that may come up during this course. We are willing to help um, as much as we can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both again. And uh, welcome to, to you guys as well to this classroom. Um, and as, as you know, both our TAs mentioned, um, you know, they are not going to be in the classroom. So in case you need your help, you either A, the best way to reach them is the Salesforce ticket that I was I'm going to just show it to you towards the end. And, and also, um, you know, you can email it to me if you, in case you get into an issue, you email it to me, copy me in that. So I can, I can alert them for anything or any issue that may be coming their way, okay? Um, so with that, let's move on to introducing the course to you guys. Um, so this course will be uh, will provide a hands-on project-based study of AI and machine learning solutions to complex problems. Um, it includes very, very fascinating topics, natural language processing, right? Um, computer vision and speech recognition, right? So important topics, especially knowing that we are and currently in very exciting times, all talking about chat GPT and, and 
generative AI. So this, this is the course that you would want to kind of get into a lot of that understanding of a lot of those things that are out there today and people are talking about. Uh, so you're right in the middle of it. And I'm glad to, and you'd be, you know, really happy to have your focus on these areas at this point in time when people and everybody around you are talking about it, okay? So in, in module one, um, you will get introduced to natural language processing, the heart of, you know, all this excitement here, I should say, the right, the core of excitement is this natural language processing because it's all about, um, if you're talking about, you know, chat GPT or some of the generative AI tools, that, tech, that does all this text generation and, and question answers and, and finding things on, on chat GPT. The basis of that is basically NLP, right? Because it's, it's just basically doing the NLP tasks. So knowing that you know, NLP is, is, is the base of it and, and the, at its core, understanding NLP is, is really going to be very important. And along with that is the natural language understanding, right? How how is the the interaction between the computers and the and the human language here, right? And how is you know how is it going to generate the text that is required here? So um, having that you know the understanding of what NLP and NLU is is going to be important. Understanding what bag of word models are and other vectorization methods that are out there, right? Um, so bag of words, little different because bag of words could be just based on the words that are part of the language you would build or do different types of analysis. It's more syntactical than semantical, right? Um, what you are seeing with, with uh, something like chat GPT or some of those generative AIs that summarize your text, that read your text and give you, you know, some... Uh, you know, a, a good uh, kind of a summary or maybe just an understanding of that or putting it in different words. It, these are all kind of semantic kind of models that, that really understand the language and take it forward, right? So you need to know both these uh, types here. So one of these is uh, syntactical models, like bag of words models. And then, um, you know, then we'll definitely talk about at some point the large language models, right? Um, the models that really leverage the deep learning uh, methodology, deep learning techniques, and it it does some of the NLP tasks, right? As I mentioned, text summarization, semantic, uh, or, I'm sorry, um, uh, the uh, sentiment analysis, the uh, generation of text. These are all the things that the lang large language models like chat GPT are doing today, or I'm sorry, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 now are doing today. So in this particular module, you you uh, you know work with Python and AWS SageMaker uh, for your assignment, right? So a discussion and quiz will be part of every module, right? That we are talking about, right? From module one to module four, you would have a discussion um, you, for the first week of that module, and then there will be a quiz. So each module is going to be of two weeks, right? It will be two weeks long. The first week is going to have a discussion and a quiz. And then the second week is where you'll be working on the assignment, okay? And all assignments and the tutorial will need to be completed in AWS Academy Learning Lab. And I said a tutorial because there's one tutorial in this class, in this particular course. Although actually I should say there are two, but one is really graded and the other is more of a refresher from the previous one of the previous courses right so module two is uh, focusing on sentiment analysis one of the key nlp tasks that is uh, once again very very popular out there that's being heavily used you'll find multiple use cases multiple applications in in different industries and different companies um, so that's going to be a focus there and we'll learn about sentiment analysis a little more. Again, in this one, you're going to make use of AWS SageMaker to apply sentiment analysis. By the way, if you recall, we used AWS SageMaker during the Data 445 class, right? So this is again, taking this forward, right? And kind of using it for other purposes that it can be really used for. Of course, it's 
doing the machine learning for you, but then how you're going to take it forward, use it for you know text kind of uh, you know um, data to apply sentiment analysis on it. Module three would be about you know again we shift from text, we go on to computer vision. It's again lots and lots of um, excitement in that space as well, where there's you know you've been seeing all those uh, facial recognition models, all the things that are going on today, right? You know, whenever we talk about generative AI, it's also about generating images, videos, or understanding the images and videos, right? And and and, and making sense out of that, um, triggering alerts, triggering alarms based on what your what a computer is going to see based on what you're capturing on 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 the video or the, uh, through uh, images or, or or videos. Um, there's going to be a refresher on the CNNs. Um, the convolutional uh, neural networks that you may have heard, um, you may have gone through before in the past courses. So there's going to be just a refresher. This is one of the tutorial where I said it's um, it's good to go through it to just get a good refresher, but it's not going to be graded. What's going to be graded is a tutorial in the same module, which is an, an Amazon recognition, a very very short tutorial um, that's going to kind of uh, help you understand the power of um, Amazon recognition service. Um, that is, we are going to be using it uh, for the assignment here, okay? So the assignment is going to be based on where you'll, you'll build an image classification mod model here. Then we move on to the last module, number four, where we'll talk about intelligent virtual assistants, right? You, you, you've seen Alexas and, and all series and all those um, virtual assistants and and um, intelligent virtual assistants and we'll, and we have seen we we know already about the chatbot. So this again, we're going to learn about you know building our, our chatbot through AWS Lambda and and using AWS Lambda and Lex services. You'll you'll also learn about how to build uh, you know functions using AWS Lambda service. Um, and of course, build all these modules, but primarily in like. Finally, in the module four as well, we'll be talking about generative artificial intelligence. Okay, so in summary, as you can see here on all these four modules, we'll be touching upon um, you know something that's really exciting, uh, from NLP to sentiment analysis to um, you know computer vision to AR, you know building building chatbots, your intelligent or talking about intelligent virtual assistants. So that's how. This, this course is, is going to you know, take you through um, and all, all the interesting stuff here. So let me stop here and, and see, um, Chase, if you have any questions on what I've covered thus far or anyone. Uh, no, not really. So far, okay. everything seems pretty self-explanatory. I mean, obviously, there's the, the reading and the labor of actually doing it, but so far, yeah, it's okay. exciting. Okay, okay, very good. All right. Um, so as I was talking, there's a course lab. So I sent out the email invites to everyone. So if you're you know, here today or watching this video, by the time you watch this, you should have seen an email in your inbox that would have invited you to this course lab. This course lab number is 49382. I know there was a clarification in the classroom asked for which lab should I really go to? I'm, I'm part of multiple labs, which is good in a way that you are, you know, you have access to all these different labs to do your work. Um, once again, although I would not mind if you're using the other labs for practicing some of the stuff, you want to kind of keep doing that. Take advantage of the fact that you have these labs where you may have some credit. Um, but yeah, mostly for this course, we would be using this particular lab. Um, that you're already invited for. If you have not seen an email invite, if you're not able to, you know, get into the lab, please let me know ASAP. Um, and in this case, the reason I say that is because your very first assignment is going to be using this lab. So if you do not have access to it um, by the by the time this, this week ends, it's going to be very difficult for you to kind of pick up the, the assignment and work on it, okay? So let's get to it right away um, as soon as you find out that you do not have access or you do not have that email, okay? Um, so as, as far as what I'll, what this course has, which is going to be graded, um, you have uh, four quizzes, 
you have four assignments. So four quizzes, four assignments, four discussions, and one tutorial. Um, so that's four, 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 one. Remember that, okay? Uh, very easy, very simple to remember. Hopefully you, you remember this, but, and of course, there will be constant reminders from me. So I'll make sure that you're all going to be successful in this course. Um, and then that's, that's important to me, as I had mentioned. And folks who've worked with me know that I, I strive to, you know, make you successful uh, through the course. Um, and for that, if I have to do some, I, I sometimes over communicate. Uh, but it just knowing that you're all so much involved in so many different things, uh, multiple courses, maybe some of you are working, um, doing working part or doing this course for part time or vice versa, maybe having family at home as well and taking care of that and all the other personal things and personal commitments. So I understand all that. So one of the reasons why you will see a constant reminders, sometimes over communication, but just to ensure that you are going to be successful in this course, okay? So um, if there's any other way that I can help you to be successful, please let me know. You have three people at your disposal to really help you, you know, get along with this course. You have myself, you have Ao, and you have Teo as well. And as I said, all three of us can, can really help you at any point in time, okay? So this is a course structure week by week, and I know this is not legible in any way. So I'm, I'm going to break this image down. Um, so the first part, I will go through the week one. Um, we are going through everything that's marked or highlighted in yellow is, is kind of like more of a submission or, or kind of graded. So um, an art ought to be done, right? It's really important. So of course, you are going through are, are you want to kind of, uh, 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 you know, personally, uh, you have to do your personal introduction posting if you can. Not mandatory, but it's it's good to kind of, you know, uh, get introduced to your classmates. So, and I, uh, you know, and of course, I would want to also, um, you know, in case um, if this is the very first time um, that you and I kind of working together, so it would go a long way. Um, if you can post it, and I would kind of know you from that perspective, right? So please do that. Um, you will have a course introduction webinar, which is today. Um, you will have conceptual readings on NLP. You will have practical Python tutorials and videos on NLP uh, during week one. Uh, you will have the AWS Academy Lab Access. I put in a short video there. You may want to go through that video, and and some of you are already familiar with it, so don't waste your time. If you if you are familiar with AWS Academy Learning Lab. Um, and this is probably the second or the third time you're doing it. Don't waste your time watching the video, okay? You're not going to get any credit, extra credit for that. Uh, but the point is that I want you to be getting familiar with the environment. That's it. It's the same environment as what you would have seen in Data 445 if you have through uh, if you have been part of that course or other courses that have introduced AWS Academy for you, okay? You have a quiz on NLP. You have a discussion one on biases in NLP, a very, very, another a very hot topic today is all the different biases that you can have within um, your, your, you know, within your data, right? And how to identify that, how to um, really um, you know, take care of that, how to, you know, um, make sure that you're not, your, your results or output is not going to be biased in any way, right? So how would you, um, you know, prevent that to happen? Your week two is, is going to be about, so we'll have a, another module webinar one. So every, after every first week of each module, we will have a webinar. So your next webinar is going to be um, next Thursday. So we'll be meeting again exactly a week from now to go over um, you know, the week of week one material or to go over the module one material. And this is, once again, I, I do not repeat whatever you've done through it. I try to supplement it in some way, which you know, some of you already know me or have been part of my classes before. You know, I try to bring in something that is going to be you know, value added or some additional material or supplement it in any way, or even you know, get to know your questions, if any, or any kind of discussions that you would like to have uh, based on what you would have gone through uh, for that uh, during that module. Okay, so 
we'll have this webinar, we'll have a conceptual readings and, and gen, on generative AI and NLP. And then you'll work on your assignment one on NLP using AWS Sage, AWS SageMaker and Python. So that ends your module one, right? Week one and week uh, two. Week three is, again, it will have a similar kind of a pattern. You will have a conceptual reading on uh, sentiment analysis, practical readings and videos on sentiment analysis. You'll get into your quiz based on the readings that you have. And then you will have a discussion on the um, deception detection. That's, that's going to be your discussion uh, for your week number three. Your week four, again, after we start week four, that Thursday, we will get into a module two webinar. Uh, very much again, it will be on Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Uh, same time. And, um, and, and during that week, you're going to do some practical readings on AWS SageMaker. You'll complete that on SageMaker, PyTor PyTorch, and BERT, very important topics. Um, and then um, you will be working on an assignment too, which is going to be on sentiment analysis using AWS SageMaker, PyTorch, and BERT, right? Again, um, going to be uh, very exciting and hope uh, you enjoy that assignment. Um, week five, um, you will go through your, okay, so week four, by the way, that ends module two. So module three, week five, right? You will, you will go through conceptual readings on computer vision. You will an exercise tutorial on Amazon recognition, which is the one that's going to be graded. You will be going through quiz three on computer vision. You will have a discussion three on power of image processing and ethical issues concerning facial recognition or image processing. That's going to be a discussion point there. Week six will be a module three webinar. Um, and then you will be during that week, you'll be going through your practical readings on Amazon recognition, and you will then work on assignment three, uh, which is going to be building an image classification model using Amazon recognition and cloud nine services in your lab. That will end your module three. Module four, that will be weeks seven and eight. In week seven, you will have conceptual and practical readings on intelligent virtual assistance, IVAs in short, followed by your quiz and discussion, same pattern being followed. And module four, the last week um, will be the webinar. A uh, week before your class ends, nearly a week before your class ends. And then you'll get into practical readings uh, on AWS Lambda, Lex services, and on generative artificial intelligence. This is probably the webinar that I plan to bring in, um, you know, some in, and supplement this with talking about large language models. Um, that's chat GPT is using like GPT 3.5, GPT 4.0 and other large language modules. So I plan to kind of bring that topic over or maybe I will try to um, break it into, you know, maybe other webinars as well, if it is is going to take some time. But um, yeah, that's, that's something I really want to bring it um, during our discussion here during the webinar because it's exciting. Um, and, and I'm sure that you all, might be interested and curious to know what these models are. You may have already started to do some reading on it, may have gone through some YouTube videos, which is excellent, which is going to be, uh, uh, I think uh, it is going to lay a good foundation for us to kind of get into that discussion uh, if you've already done that. If not, that would still help. Uh, if not, we can still go through some of the introductory material on what these large language models are and what is all the hype about you know, generative AI. Okay, so let me stop here again. Um, any questions you guys have? I hope this was all self-explanatory. Yeah, it is so far, no questions here. Okay, excellent. All right, um, so as far as the grading goes, um, discussions, four discussions, 50 points each, total 200. Reading quizzes, uh, each quiz is 50 points, so four quizzes, 200. Assignment one, 150 points. Assignment two, 150 points. 
And the, the module three, the assignment three and the week five tutorial, both together is 150, right? That's, that's a split there. And then assignment four is of 150 points, total of 1000 points, okay? What you'll accomplish in this course in general, analyzing data for machine learning. Remember, you're using AWS SageMaker, one of the machine learning services in AWS, right? Um, you'll implement, implement appropriate AI and ML solutions. Besides AWS SageMaker, we are also going to be making use of AWS Lex, right? Um, Lex is one of the services that help you build you know, the chatbots, right? Um, the kind of a conversational AI uh, that you want to kind of build. So that that kind of a, um, a service it, uh, it provides, AWS provides. You deploy and operationalize AI and ML solutions. Evaluate AI and ML solutions, like whatever the model you build, you want to know its accuracy and, and all that, right? So evaluating that. Analyze ethical issues in computer vision. We'll be you know discussing that in one of the discussions during that module three week. Um, and, and finally, no popular cloud-based AI and ML services in general, right? You've gone through some of the services already in AWS. We'll introduce a couple more or work with uh, a few more here. And this way, it gives you like a, a good view of what Amazon or AWS has to offer here, okay? In terms of success factors, um, you've seen this before if you've been part of my class, but I would say minimum time. Um, spend, plan to spend at least three to six hours every week. And if you're someone who really, really is, wants to do, you know, very well with this course, not just from a grading perspective, you know, not just getting points, but really understanding this exciting topic, right? Um, and, and making sense out of it and, and really taking this forward because this is one of the courses that you could say you, you're going to see it in your career. You're going to be using a lot of content, a lot of knowledge that you gain or gather during this time is going to be useful if you are going to be, um, you know, going out and working somewhere as a data scientist or, you know, working in an NLP or, or as in any, any kind of a role or data analyst kind of a role, you will certainly be using some part of, of the knowledge that you would gain from this course here. So plan to spend additional time. Um, start early, as I always keep saying, do not wait to, uh, you know, and, and start on your weekly requirements and deliverables, especially your labs, because you never know. You, you've seen it. Some of you have already seen it. Um, you know, you get into the last day, you try to start something on a Tuesday morning, boom, things crash. Or these are the, the environment that is not exclusive um, for just our, you know, for the university. We are using a, a public cloud. You're using an environment that is, you know, a production-based environment. And there could be some maintenance windows that we could be going through or, or things that happen. And Murphy's Law, right? Things happen at the most inappropriate time. It's, it's nine o'clock at night. You have to submit the assignment at 12, boom. <laughs> so let's not wait until Tuesday to get, uh, and not just lab, right, for anything, um, do not wait until the end and start early. No plagiarism, please. I, I know, I, and I trust you guys, right? I, I really want to trust you guys. Um, I know a lot of folks um, would say, hey, you know, don't use chat GPT. Chat GPT is kind of, you know, now being used and a lot of, it's a lot, of, there's a discussion in the academia about it. Um, how are we going to create uh, some of the material or some of the you know submissions that a student will provide, which comes from Chat GPT? And, and trust me, I, I, there are tools out there that can figure out, find out if something is being machine generated, then it's it's humanly written, and and they are so accurate. But I do not want to go there, guys. As a matter of fact, I'm saying you the other way. If you're using Chat GPT, by all means. Use it, use it as a resource, as, as the other resources that you have in the classroom, right? This is an additional resource. Resource. Give credit to it saying, okay, this is, I, I, I really, I, I, instead of just kind of stealing something and, and publishing it here and getting into trouble, I would rather say, hey, you have used this as a resource, you know, put it in your reference. But I'm not saying just copy and paste everything from there. 
like what you would do for the other sources, put it in your own language. Use it as a resource that's going to give you some more information, some nice information that you can gather. So use it to your advantage, guys. And I, I and as I said, I do not want to penalize anyone here um, because as I said, it's very easy for me to pick something and, and, and find out if it is machine generated or not, but I don't want to go there. I want, this class is about, you know, this exciting AI tools and let's make use of AI tools if there's out there. And ChatGPT is another one. So I'm not preaching to use it, but if you are using it, then use it to your advantage, use it in the right way as a resource. I hope that makes sense. Okay, um, participation is key. Um, you know, be in the classroom. Um, I give a lot of, um, you know, I, I said this, um, uh, put a lot of premium on what are based on your reading, what kind of discussion posting is out there and how you're going to interact and engage with your class on certain discussion points. That's the biggest learning you can get out of this course, right? It's not just about assignments or going through reading, but about engaging your class. And as I said, these are all exciting topics. These are all real topics. This is not calculus. This is not integration derivative or something that you would not know whether you'd use it in your in your future career or not, but this is something you will. And, and it is already people are around you are talking about it. So get en engage with your classmates on, on these different topics that are going to be there for your discussions. And submit on time, of course. <laughs> um, yes, everything that you do, um, you do not want to lose points for just being late, unless if you are going to be late for any reason, again, um, I, I do not want to just go ahead and penalize you, but let me know in advance if you are going through some hardship um, and anything of that sort that I need to know, but know it, let me know in advance, not after you missed the, uh, the deadline, but before it, it is going to happen or it's happening, right? You want to let me know ahead. Um, but at the same time, I need to be fair to st with students who are really doing it in you know, submitting it on time. So I need to be fair. I need to kind of balance it out. So guys, let me know um, if if you run into any challenges or hardship, um, and and um, you know if if there is anything. But as I said, none of these assignments are are really that difficult or takes hours and days. To you can do all these assignments in one sitting, honestly. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you should wait until Tuesday just because I said I you can all do it in one sitting in few hours doesn't mean you take this to Tuesday. <laughs> so please do not do that. But yes, it is. Um, and and uh, as I said, this is all for your benefit and, and use it to your advantage. Okay. All righty. So you know how to get in touch with me. Uh, and I'll also, you know, share, as I said, um, you know, if there's a need, if you're creating a ticket, or if you have an issue that you bring it to my attention, I'm going to copy an AO and NTO right away make them aware so you get also through the email. But it's very important that you build the Salesforce ticket uh, you know, in, a, in, a, in a way that it's going to go straight into their hands, right? And also copy me when you do that. But we'll talk about it on the next slide. But there are other things here in case you need to talk to advising, I put in the toll-free number, I put in their, um, their, uh, their email address here. If you need to talk to our program director for any reason, there's issue that you want to write to her directly, I've, I've given the email address here as well, okay? How to get in touch. Um, talking about the Salesforce ticket, so as I, as I mentioned, um, this is very important that you, you go to this website and the Web2Case website, which I'm sure many of you are now very familiar with. If not, you can, you can email it to me or post it in the classroom and I can post this link to you guys again. But yeah, this Web2Case is, is the link or, or the website where you would go to build the ticket, right? Very important that you pick UMGC Virtual Labs Support, right? The very first thing, the case type field should include or indicate UMGC Virtual Labs Support. Next, for the type, uh, for the customer type, it should be student. Um, for the, um, is it customer or consumer? I'm sorry. I, uh, okay, looks like it's, okay. 
well, it's the same thing, but the second field, just pick student there. Um, and then the subtype, you would want to choose data analytics, right, data. And then when you go into subtype, then the next field, it will populate, you want to, it will show a list of all different types of issues. You just use other issue, keep it simple. You don't have to keep, you don't have to struggle to find which, which issue it does it really get related to, just pick other issue. And then most importantly, for the program dropdown, use data. For the course dropdown, if you do not see data 460, please use data 220. Uh, the data 220 is already there. You can choose that section. You know the section of this course, 6980. You put the 6980, right? Um, you know that this is a summer course. It's summer semester. You put the semester as summer, right? And then the other assignment name or assignment information, as much information as possible, right? In the comments, you, could, you do want to mention that this is for data 460 course, right? In case you had to choose data 220 in the dropdown for the course, in the comments, you say, you know, you want to just, I just, you know, showed it on this screen here, data 460, section 6980, summer 2023. So just put that in the field there, in the comments field, and it becomes easier for uh, anyone looking at the ticket that it is for data 460 only, okay? So please, it's important that you populate certain fields uh, uh, correctly here so that it correctly gets routed or AO and TO can you know, correctly see this ticket. Additionally, send me an email that you have created this ticket so I can copy, you know, copy them and alert them that there's a ticket coming their way that you need, an, uh, the, you need attention right away, right? They will engage with you. They will try to see if it, it can be resolved by exchanging emails, it can be resolved by maybe, you know, there could be a screen sharing, a screen sharing session that may take place or they may need to happen in order to help you with it. So it needs time. Once again, this is not, it, this ticketing system is not a chatbot system where you send a ticket 11 o'clock at night and there you go, you'll get a response back at 11.15 or 11.05, right? So please, um, we try to work on this and get to this as soon as possible. Um, we don't want to kind of get to um, the the guideline is 24 hours, uh, you know, like a turnaround time. We do much better than that, right? We want to get to, get to you as soon as possible, within a few hours of of you creating the ticket. But once again, it cannot be that you create a ticket at 12 o'clock or in the, at midnight or 11 o'clock at night and you get a, a response back in, in by six in the morning. It may, may not happen, right? So please give some time uh, for the response to kind of come, get back. And that's the reason why if you send this information to me, I can alert them that something's coming their way and you need attention, right? Okay, any questions? Everything all self-explanatory. Okay, very good. So we went through, you know, the introductions. We went through the course introduction, the course lab. We talked about the different, you know, the course, what the course entails, what are all your submissions. We went through week by week structure. We went through grading. Uh, we went through what you'll accomplish uh, through this course. We talked about success factors. Um, I gave you links for if you want to get in touch with me or with the other you know, department uh, like advising or to the program director. And we also talked about the sales for ticket in case you need help with your lab or your assignment or anything in general, in case you need some technical help. So once again, any questions, not just what I kind of went through, but in general about the course or anything that you want to talk about. Let me open it up to you again, Chase and others. Yeah, no, I'm still good. I mean, this is also okay. fairly self-explanatory. I'm sorry I'm the only one here. <laughs> no, that that's okay. So glad um, you know, you you had a big responsibility here, Chase. Um, to ask questions on on uh, your classmates' behalf. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. But this is all good. You asked some very good questions and are, you know, kind of went through this material, understood it. So 
in case someone needs help, I can say, okay, go to Chase. <laughs> he, yeah, he knows it all so. now. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, if, if no further questions, then I'm not going to you know, keep you here for a long time. Let's all have a great semester and um, good luck to you, Chase, and everyone. Awesome. Thank you very much. Looking forward to Thank you. working with you. Thank for you. The next Looking forward weeks to working so. with you, Chase, and everyone here, all the students watching this um, recording. So we'll look forward to seeing you in the classroom. Take care. Good right. night. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.